So far, I kind of hate it. That's a bra. I got too cocky. Hi, welcome to today's video where we attempt to make bras. I really feel like I wanted to be able to say where today we make bras, but I don't have any bras to show you right now because we still need to make it. But thank you so much for clicking in. I'm Noemi and today we will attempt to make bras. So the desire to make bras came actually from need. I find bra shopping so painful. I don't know you. Also, you know the girls, they're sisters, not twins. So actually I find that even having a bra that fits properly is really difficult to find. And I really thought if I manage to find a pattern that works and I can make my own bras, I will never need to go bra shopping again. And that was the motivation. So I have already attempted to make a bra with a free pattern I had found online. This is actually, I can't even show you, this is not safe for the internet. This was, I mean, free pattern, maybe not for bras because I need a bit more structure than what that bralette was offering. But today I am working with the Saline Bralette from Closet Co. I really hope this one is going to be a winner. This is a soft cup because it's very hard to find pre-made cups. I mean, if you want a bra that actually has a foam cup, it becomes a whole different ball game. So let's try this. What I have today is the cup. So with the dot here, so this is one cup. I also have it in a lining mesh. I have a tiny little lace panel that is going to be a decoration here on top of the cup. And I have mesh and power mesh for a bit extra structure and support for the back bend. I also have a hooks and eye and the different attachment you need for the straps. I have all the different elastics and I ended up writing everything. Everything has a post-it and a clip because it's just, it all looks the same. It all feels the same when you're not used to making bras. So this way it's a little bit clearer what's what. So I have all of my material lined up. One thing with making bra is that it's quite difficult to find the materials. So at my local fabric store, they have lace, but I do not believe that they have this mesh that you need for underneath the lace. And I don't think they have the power mesh either. So this one, which is much firmer and going to give you actual support. They also don't have this bit, so they do have all the little accessories for the strap, all the different rings and hooks, but this they don't have. What you can find in an abidashri is a bra extender, and I assume if you just cut your bra extender on either side, it could work, but then at the same time, wouldn't it fray? So this bit is also a bit that's really hard to find. So I did buy a kit like this one. So I actually bought three, the one, the blue one that I'm showing you at the moment. I have also this one and I have a third one that I'm not gonna show you because it's also wrapped. I might show you all of the bras. If it's a success, I'll show you everything. So this pack, I'm gonna put it down because it's quite, Russell. So this pack is from Emerald Erin and she sells them to complete the pattern that she sells, which is the Black Beauty bra. As you have noted, I am not making the Black Beauty bra. And so I decided to buy her kit just to be able to have everything and that was not a smart choice. So let me explain. In the kits, and the kits weren't cheap, I think for the three kits, including shipping and everything, I had to pay 120 euros. So, you know, for three bras, 120 euros, you are up there price-wise. The kit also had duoplex and I originally cut my cups in the duoplex as well. But actually, then I realized the duoplex has absolutely no stretch. I also cut my back panels in the duoplex, but then I thought, think, Noemi, think, the pattern says it needs to stretch. This has absolutely no stretch. So what's gonna happen when you're gonna try to put the bralette on and everything has no stretch? It's not gonna be the right size. So actually, I paid quite a bit for this duoplex that then, I mean, I'm not going to be able to use all this. This is, this is fabric, I mean, I'm going to find a good home for it, don't you worry, but this is not going to be used for making bras. So I thought I was being particularly clever by buying the kit, which allowed me to have the power mesh and all those details that are quite hard to find, but actually now I end up with a lot of duoplex that I'm not going to need because she uses it in the Black Beauty bra, but I'm doing a different pattern, which has different needs. I also have the underwires that came with the kit that I'm not going to use, so in the end, I bought three kits that were on the pricier side and they're not really matching what I need. 
Emerald Erin also has a kit for a bralette, but the issue is that I don't think it comes with all the materials I need. There was a reason I did buy the most expensive kits instead of the bralette kit. So that's the first hurdle. Really finding the material is not that easy, not that straightforward. I bought a kit that wasn't cheap and in the end it's not even gonna match my need really. And if you look at this, this is really big. I did choose to have the three hooks instead of the two hooks because I looked at my own bras and I have most of the time three hooks. But here they are spaced out really wide apart and so this is massive. So I also had to adapt my actual pattern so that it would fit this because otherwise it was way, way, way too small. The pattern actually originally came with a curve here and went downwards and like I added fabric up here to make sure that it would fit here. So quite fiddly so far. I'm really scared that it's gonna be a total mess, but you know, we can make anything. We can figure out how to make bras. I believe in us. So I will keep you updated as I go, but I believe that so far my learnings are that I probably shouldn't have spent all the money I did spend on those kits at the same time. Don't know how I would have got the material otherwise. Let's see how this all goes. I'm gonna try to make a bra. We can make anything, we believe, woo! So I'm currently setting up. I'm going to use white thread along with this fabric. I mean, there's a little bit of white in the lace. I don't have the thread that matches exactly the blue of the rest of the fabric. I think it's gonna be fine. Also, all of the straps and everything are white. So I think we're gonna be fine with white. And for the needles, I'm gonna use micro textile sharp needles. That's it. We have the thread, we have the appropriate bobbin, we are ready to go. Am I filming to procrastinate starting? Probably, but you know what? If you are scared about any sewing project, follow this one very simple advice. You start with step one. And for me, step one is assemble the strap. It's literally putting the slider onto the strap and sewing it shut. I can do that. You know, we said we can start, it's all fine, but actually I already have a couple of comments, which are the straps that came with my kit are really, really thick. I don't know if you can see, I'll put it on my hand. It's quite a thick strap, makes me feel like I have massive, massive friends that need to be really supported, so they're a bit too big. And also, because I was following the elastic guide of the pattern I'm actually making and not the pattern that this kit is made for, I didn't have enough to cut twice my size. So if you can see, I'm missing a couple of centimeters here at the bottom. I hope it's gonna be fine. I think I'm gonna just cut the second one at the same length. This way I'm a bit short, but I'm at least working with the same short on both sides. So yeah, already not a, such an easy start. So all I need to do now is to thread this and sew this shut. Easy. I just want to say I can really feel like those stripes are really good quality because even the place where it's cut, it's really, really soft. So it's actually gonna be really comfortable on the skin. So that's it, that's sewn. Just to confess, the reason why I'm making this bra because it has been waiting for me for quite a while now. The reason why I'm doing it is that if you have seen either my sewing haul maybe or my video where I'm making a coat for Milo or maybe even the one where I'm making a bag because I don't know which one is coming first because at this point neither the bag nor the coat are made because I started panicking I was like all those projects that are already cut are waiting for me so actually I think you're gonna see things totally in the wrong order and I think this video is gonna come later but the bra is what I'm making first because it was looking at me on the pile and pressuring me and being like I've been cut for so long why aren't you sewing me so here you are, little secret for you. If you see this video much later than the rest, this is actually what I'm sewing first. So now I am going to sew the darts in the cup. So I'm going to shut this. What I am wondering is when you talk about seam allowance and the zigzag, so it tells me to zigzag at one centimeter, but I'm using a zigzag, so that's gonna take extra space. I'm really wondering, do they mean one centimeter and I just place it in the middle or one centimeter and I have to count that I have two millimeters of zigzag but then only one millimeter of zigzag because it's one on either, th on either side. Do you know? Do you know if I need to count the zigzag or not? I don't know what I'm gonna do yet but I mean hopefully it's gonna be fine even though with bras a millimeter makes a difference. But uh, if you are a bra expert tell me or like just in general when you use a zigzag stitch and you have been given a seam allowance 
where do you sew exactly? At one centimeter or one centimeter minus the zigzag, which is one millimeter in this case? Let me know. Okay, let's sew those dots. So I've just sewn the dots into the lining here and I'm just a bit worried the bra is gonna end up very pointy. Can you see this? That's a dot. I hope that kind of when it's on you, it stretches and doesn't end up too pointy because that's very pointy. I don't want pointy, pointy boobs like this. Uh -uh. No, 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 but let's see. I just wanted to show, so the cup lining and the little lace detail are all together. I'm not sure I love it so far, but trust the process. We keep going. I quickly popped into the office because my wife is playing video game in the living room where my sewing machine is and where we were filming just before and I don't want her to have to stop playing just so that I film. We have progress but I have to say so far I kind of hate it and I try to keep hope because I think what I hate is the white elastic and how ugly, <laughs> ugly that is to me. Also this is really big, the hook and I feel like it's just not gonna be a very graceful bra. So there's a mesh behind one part and this is supposed to be the ooh sexy lace part and this is supposed to be the lined part but in the end it's kind of, I mean, it doesn't look so different. So also I think it's hard to like at the moment because the elastic makes it roll fully on itself. But So I'm trying to keep hope. I think as what I really hate about it is the white elastic. I'm kind of telling myself the other two kits I have have much prettier elastic. One has a pink elastic and one has a beige elastic. So it's gonna be nicer. So I'm really considering this as my learning bra and then the other two are gonna be very nice. We don't give up and we don't feel down about it. It's gonna be fine. Also so far, I mean, I feel like I have almost finished. I mean, this is half a bra, the other half is here. And then I just, put the bottom band, put the attachment, and we finish. Oh, and the straps. Basically, we finished. So I'm like, well, it wasn't too long to make. Yeah, it's a bit difficult. At the moment, I'm hating the whole process, but I feel like it wasn't, didn't take too, too long, and that should be fine to make the other two. But am I hating the process because I hate the elastic? Possible? Hard to tell. Okay, so part of me is much more optimistic, and then part of me is like, oh, I did a mistake. First, it really starts to look like a bra, which is so exciting that I've made something. I mean, literally now we are reaching the end now. I think this all confirms that I just don't like the white elastic, which is fine because the other two bras are not gonna have the white elastic. And I have made a mistake and that's why the elastic has been such a pain. This elastic had to stop. Yeah, it's like so tight, I can't even. Had to stop here. So the one of the issue I had is that compared to the original pattern, I had to widen this so that it would fit my very, very wide three hooks and eye, which means that I totally lost the definition. I'm supposed to have something that goes whoop, shoop. And so I would have put the elastic and at the whoop, stop the elastic. But I didn't stop the elastic because I don't see that curve. And so I went all the way, my mistake. Um, I think I'm still gonna be able to make the strap work. So normally the strap would come in and finish this bit here and then go up here and the elastic would finish there. I think it's fine. I'll just attach the strap here somehow. Hope it's gonna work. Or maybe I put it on top. I'll see what I do. But yeah, I kind of accepted that this is my learning bra. <laughs> like my neighbors are there and I'm like showing my bras. Um, I accepted that this is my learning bra and now that I see how this is all going, I also got better with the elastic. I mean, the first elastic I have done is the ugliest of all of them and then it's getting better. So I feel like this is not going to be the best bra ever, but it's gonna allow me to make two very nice bras, hopefully with the other kits I have, which I'll also show you because I'm very excited they're so pretty. I'll even, let's show you how dedicated I am, I'll even go and buy proper thread that's gonna match the elastics perfectly because now that I see how much the thread overlap on the elastic, I really want to have a really good match. Otherwise it would really show. So here we are, this is where we are now. I still need to attach this, hooks and eyes, straps, and we're done. That's a bra. So I have finished it. I have in the end just sewn the strap like this instead of doing, you know, the strap was supposed to come this way here. Um, I don't know, I feel like I'm a bit low energy. 
you know when you finish a sewing project and you're like I just want to finish this now I just want to not have to look at it anymore so I finished it in the end I think it looks better than what I expected you know all things considered what I dislike the most about it is the dart that you know, even when you have a breast in it, you know, it's just very pointy. So I'm gonna try to correct that and make it better for the other ones. I don't love, and I know that's me, I chose the wrong kit. I chose wide kit, but I really shouldn't have because I think the wide straps are also really not pretty. And the issue is that it's the same width for the straps in the other kit. Now, maybe I just want to buy, because my local fabric store does sell just the straps, so maybe I just want to get different straps just to feel better and have something that's gonna look nicer for the future. And for the next two, and that's what's gonna be the most difficult, I need to figure out my cup size better because I always have this same issue. I have a fine band in the measurement, I have the right cup size, but then it simply doesn't fit the reality of what is there. So this is one of the numerous bras that I have bought myself or in this case made myself that ends up being my wife's size and not mine and it's like why like i measured it i guess if when i buy a new bra i'm never the right size compared to my measurements and then the reality i guess it makes sense that it's also not the case with a me made but so we have something this is a bra i've made a bra but we're gonna try to make something better and something that's a bit more of a success because this mitigated response and my wife doesn't even want it because she finds the straps too big which i understand but so it's a bit sad to have put all of this work into something that's just gonna go in the bin it's so sad i don't want it to go in the bin i don't know Can we just accept the squeaky? Just don't have the heart to take Milo's toy away, but um, yeah, I hope it's not gonna go too crazy. Um, I just wanna say, I hope I wasn't too negative in the first video I made about bra making. It was a lot. I think, I think it was quite difficult to work on a project that was new, that was fiddly, and you know, it's like, obviously it wasn't the most fun because it was a bit more difficult, but also I didn't feel like it was turning into anything nice. So it was a bit frustrating, but now I'm really like, I can see how this ended up. It wasn't that bad. And I think the next ones are gonna be really nice. I'm not going to make the same mistakes. I'm going to try to correct the fit. What I would need is a cup size up. They don't have a cup size up, but so what I'm gonna do is cut one size up the same cup size and try to make it work. So hopefully that's gonna work out. And yeah, I really hope this second bra is gonna be better and that the third one is gonna work a charm and that my experience of bra making isn't going to end there. I also have thought a lot about the dart. I have a bra that's ready to wear and that also has a similar dart placed, you know, like underneath the cup. And it also actually looks a bit funny and has a fun pointy end at the end of the dart. So maybe it's just the placement of those darts I never ideal, but I really have thought a lot about how to try to make it so that the dot doesn't end in a point, but ends a little bit smoother. So I've been doing a lot of thinking. I'm going to now retrace my pattern. Oh, I need to go and get my tracing paper. I'm gonna retrace the pattern one size up, which is by the way why you might know if you watched my this or that video. This is why I don't cut my pattern because now I'm gonna trace one size up and retry again and I don't need to go and reprint my pattern. So let's go, we're feeling positive. I hope I didn't turn you off with, <laughs> with my negativity with the first bra. I just, please be understanding, it was a lot and yeah, I felt like it wasn't working and it was a bit tough, but this one's gonna work. I'm gonna show you the lace, it's very pretty. I put, I had pink thread that left over, so I put it on the side so that I have it. She also gives like little bows. I am not gonna put that on. You can't wear your bra underneath the t-shirt if you have those on, so I never put them on because it's just not practical. That's the underwire cups. I'm also gonna give that away. So what I have started is a whole pile for, it's not a fabric store, but it's a second hand fabric store and you can go and donate fabrics and notions. So I'm gonna donate the underwire cups. I really, I have thought long and hard and I don't think I'm gonna use them. I just don't think it's for me to, make an underwire bra. And if one day it is for me, then I'll just go and buy more. I've decided to not keep it because when I keep things, it tend to nag at me and I feel like it's a to-do, so. Okay, this is the Duoplex, which is the expensive of the fabrics. And 
the previous one I did cut it and then realized I didn't need it so it's I don't have much to give to the fabric store but here I have the whole piece that I'm gonna give unspoiled so a very generous present for me to the fabric store and I'm also gonna give the one from the other kit the last kit I have so this is the power mesh which is gonna be for the back bands supposed to be really supportive so that's gonna be for this piece of the bra exactly like the blue one I'm remaking the same this is the mesh that you put underneath the lace so that's going to be on top of the power mesh on the back band and underneath the lace on the first part of the cup and then the upper cup is only the lace and this is the lace i have for this bra so pretty let me show you with the mesh underneath so nice very very lovely this is what we cutting today i so yeah just retracing one size up for the cup the upper cup getting that done and then i need to re figure out she gives this very handy guide otherwise i wouldn't know what's what but thanks to the guide you can understand what's what and so this time i have pink notions again same issue as the big one the straps are quite big but we're gonna roll with it yes this is um structure this is not elastic i'm also gonna give that away like i did for the other one okay now what is this ah hooks and eyes same as the last one it's everything is the same as the blue kit except that this time everything is pink so currently I'm cutting all of the elastics and I have this elastic guide from the pattern and I'm going to do exactly the same as last time with a post-it note on every single bit this way I know what's what because it was very useful to just be able to be like okay this this and yeah that worked really well last time so I'm gonna do the same now. I'm really like it's Sunday night, so it's still the weekend, so we're still allowed to sew. And I've started making my second bra, and I just wanted to show you. I've just sewn up the darts, and I've tried to do... I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but I've tried to make the line curve to really make this angle as smooth as possible. And hopefully, it's going to mean that the dart is going to be a lot less pointy. Then it was on the blue bra because that was one of the grievance I had with the blue bra is that that dart here was super pointy and I really didn't like it. So let's see how this works out. Okay, we have the cups. I don't know if I'm actually going very fast or if it feels very fast. Um, You know, when you have already made the project once, it, it can feel really fast. And obviously, normally it's the type of things I would make in bulk because I'm making three bras and normally I would make all of them kind of like factory styles, the three of them together. But because here I'm trying to perfect the fit, it means I'm really cutting them one at a time and making them one at a time. I just wanted to say that as a side note. I got too cocky. I didn't read the instructions properly. I thought I knew. So what I did is I stitched this and then I was going to turn this over and stitch it like this and have the pico just poking out. But actually the way it's meant to be is for you to sew it like this and then to turn it over here and to have the elastic on top. I don't think I can unpick this, so it's going to be this way for this bra. I have decided, go with the flow. I, I really don't want to unpick it, so that's what it's gonna be. Anyway, to be honest, I didn't love the elastic on top in the other bra. I know that it was also white and that didn't help me finding it super pretty, but I wonder if this is not gonna look a bit more delicate, so let's see. I brought the blue bra to show you what it was supposed to be and to show you what I've done. And yeah, you know what? I'm not mad about it. I I really do. I'm not saying I'm smarter than the pattern, but I like it. I, I really stand with my choices. It was a mistake, but actually I'm really happy about it. So I'm going to do this elastic exactly the same way here. I think it's going to look quite nice. Otherwise, what I wanted to say is there's still my markings on there. Oops. I am going to keep the blue bra near me to prevent any future mistakes, hopefully. It really reminds me, once with my dad, we built five different Billy bookshelves from Ikea and every single one of them had a different mistake. We learned through each bookshelf and didn't repeat the same mistakes, but each bookshelf had a, had a different mistake. And I feel like this is what I'm making now. I feel like each bra is gonna have its own unique mistake. So I'm obviously not going to redo the mistake of having the elastic going all of the way here. So this time I did not forget and I stopped it on time, but I did manage to find something else to do wrong. So 
you know. So you are meant to leave off two centimeters in and a half on this side and four centimeters on this side. So the reason why you leave a bit of extra elastic is to hold on to it while you pull. And here you need a bit extra because you're going to come with the hoop and attach it through. But last time the in the blue bra that's there this elastic was really too tight it was really like cutting across my breast so i already went up a size so it should help obviously but i also want to be really mindful of not pulling this fabric too much as last time it wasn't a it wasn't a winner so here i'm really i'm leaving the smallest bit just a bit one centimeter to hold it here and here i think i have about two centimeters and a half to be able to do the loop but really keeping it minimal because i don't want the same effect with the elastic cutting my breast in two and if i lean you know half pops out and then it's it's terrible so this is really what was crucially bad with the previous bra so this is where everything needs to go right this time well i still need to turn it over but to be honest i barely stretched this at all so i really really hope it's going to be fine because you see it's still going to be stretched while being worn so it's not stretched at all on the fabric fingers crossed it's gonna be all good okay i literally had doubts i was like maybe i've misread the pattern and this is how it's meant to be because i find this so pretty and delicate but no i went to look on instagram and people have done the elastic over obviously i haven't seen what this one would look like over and maybe it would be also very pretty because it's a prettier elastic so much more sexy i guess this is more of a sporty look i have seen people my elastic is not super shiny and i have seen people with more of a satin elastic and that's already a bit nicer but i guess that's a sporty look and that's a sexy look and i'm very glad with this so far i find it much nicer so i'm curious to see how the rest gonna go but then i will still have the elastic like this so or maybe i can also do it under i will study that question oh my god i need to share this this is genius so i have quite a thick seam in there because i have the elastic folding and then the second one and i have heard on my podcast love to so put this and now it's like flying through it's amazing i'm so happy oh this is a brilliant i mean i have a really basic machine so it doesn't have anything to help me i don't have a walking foot but this is genius so this is where i'm at and i'm almost finished i'm literally just the straps and the closure away from finished but it's past 10 p.m and if you know you don't do anything fancy past 10 p.m when you're sewing because that's how you make mistakes so this is where we're stopping for tonight and for everything i have to finish this is the amount of thread i have left so a bit of thread chicken there we believe that it can happen i still have to attach well only the straps and the back so my god i'm so close to finish i remember when i stopped this project last time it was the evening it was late and i was like i have to stop but it's going to be so satisfying because it's going to take absolutely no time to finish this project. So let's do this. Oh my God, my wife did the, this bit of the strap in the last bra because I, I just get so confused with the instructions. I can just see this is not working, like there's something wrong. I'm going to try to look at the blue bra to understand what's happening. But it's like last time I was just like, please do it. Read the words, do the thing. I, I can't, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to figure it out. Okay, I wasn't too far off. I actually just needed to thread the strap through the next piece of the loop. And there we are. We have almost a strap. Again, we know that they're a bit wide and that's a bit upsetting, but that's how it is. So yeah, I don't love this, but at the same time, this is in my back. So it's not like I'm going to see it. It's going to bother me. I just can't believe how fast this went. I had so little left to finish. Now I'm just putting the attachment and we're done. I don't know what I was worrying about. Plenty of thread left. Huh? Okay, so we have reached the end of the road. I have made two bras. And this, honestly, let me just... Let me just demo it for you. For how beautiful this is. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly how I should have shown it the first time. So, this bra I find really, really nice. I'm super pleased with the fact that I've put the elastic underneath, as I had shown you. I'm really pleased. I think it's really pretty. I think even the fact that the straps are a bit thicker is not too much of an issue. So generally very happy, but, and there's a but, and this but, sorry, I'm looking a bit ridiculous like this. I realize I will not wear this for too long. The butt is quite big, and I really want your opinion on this if you are used to making bra. But the darts are pointing here, and are finishing here. 
and it's just not where you want your darts to finish. It gives a really weird shape to my breast and actually I had taken my assistant Holly originally to show you so apex where you want your dart to finish so that the apex matches the end of the dart and here my dart finishes like here on his cheek and so it makes the shape of your breast really funny and so obviously here you didn't have the whole experience because I have a sports bra underneath but really I think if I hold it like this you imagine that there's a breast here I think you can tell that this really goes sideways and so it doesn't create the shape that I would enjoy wearing I don't feel really comfortable wearing this bra I feel like it doesn't mark too much on the tops it's really it's nearly perfect but the placement of this dart makes it that it doesn't work for me because the overall shape that it makes for your breast simply doesn't work. Moving these darts, I think we have reached my max in my skills. Honestly, I don't want to make the third bra in this pattern as well because I just don't know how I can improve it. Like moving this dart is sadly too much for me at the moment. So the thing is, if you remember well, I had three kits and why it's really upsetting is that I have made those two bras. This was my least favorite, so this is why I made it first. This was my second favorite, so that's why I made it second. And then I have my favorite kit now. But I thought that after making two bras, I would be ready to make my perfect bra with this third kit. And I am not there, I am not ready. So originally I thought I would show you three bras in this video, but I, I can't because I can't make this third bra yet. At the minute so I have two patterns I am intrigued by and I would be super interested if some of you have made those patterns and can give me any pointers as if you think those would be good options for me or not those are they're both from cashmere the first one that I was interested by is a new one and it's the Loftus bralette it's called a bralette but it looks extremely supportive and so if any of you have looked at it are planning to make it like please let me know i'm really really interested to have your opinion on this and the other one is the other bra by cashmere and it's the willowdale bra and so any information you have on those two or if you have another wonder pattern i don't know about and that you think i should try please 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 let me know look at how beautiful this kit is i really want to use it but currently we don't have a winner if you do have knowledge about moving a dart in a bra that like this I'm also interested because I'm starting to think that this Celine bralette pattern is maybe not the one for me and I'm not saying that it's a bad pattern I think it's a really nice pattern it's just I have very specific bra needs that are very difficult to meet they're already very difficult to meet in the real shopping world which is why I'm trying to make my own so let's not call this an unhappy ending this one is I'm definitely not going to keep because sadly it's really not working so thank you for everything you taught me bra but this is not going to be forever and this one I'm going to keep for around the house I still think it's absolutely beautiful it doesn't have the proper fit but I still learned a lot with this and you know we're moving in the right direction so hopefully you guys have amazing suggestion in the comment and can help me because this has been quite a journey but I really hope that you know you're gonna be able to help me and that afterwards the future video of bra making is gonna be the success and the final like arriving at the perfect bra this is clearly a journey we have not reached the end so stay around if you want to make more bras with me I really hope that the whole video was fine I know that with the first bra I was having a bit of a headache but it really shows you if you are struggling with a project even if it's quite frustrating this bra I had quite a tough time the whole way through I did not particularly enjoy making it this one was a breeze totally like I was like oh I know what to do obviously I made the mistake of the elastic that we know but like I just felt so much more confidence and also I felt more relaxed sewing the elastic as well the first time I was like oh my god the elastic is so tricky second time went like a breeze so really if there's something you find difficult just buy some extra fabric try it once the second time is already going to be much better and the third time is going to be a win so we don't have a third bra for you today but I really hope that my bra making journey is not over and that <laughs> 
Soon I can, you know, show you the, the perfect bra that I have made in my beautiful, beautiful kit. Oh, it's been a while Milo hasn't made an apparition in my arm. You, oh, you don't want to look at the... Every time I'm taking in my arm, he leans his head on my shoulder to be as relaxed as possible, so you end up not being able to see him. You want to go... You don't want to tell the people they can make anything, including bras? You can make anything, including bras, including difficult things. You can do it. I can do it at some point too, but I'm still working on it. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. If you want to follow my sewing adventures, please don't hesitate to subscribe. If you, you know, if you're still here, give this video a like, it always helps. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.